Okay, so moving on here. Ah, well, we have a problem, don't we? Can't get across that bridge. I've got to light this torch. Torch. Uh-huh. Um, so we're going to light this torch. I'm going to conjure fire element by pressing F. F is a spray. Now, there are th four ways to cast a spell. Um, force is, and I'm running off memory here, um, really not that familiar with the game yet, but so the force is anything that's cast out in front of you. You can do um, shields, you can do projectiles, um, sprays and lightnings and so forth. So that's what this particular spell is. There's also area of effect spells, which I'll get to later. There's a self spell, which we did earlier to heal myself. And then you can also imbue your weapons with magic, which I have not done yet. So I'm not going to talk about that. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and fire away at this thing. I'm just going to point at it, right click and hold it down, and I've lit it up. Sweet. Bridge comes across, and I'm free to continue. Oh, what's this? Another torch. <laughs> and it's far away, so I can't get it with the regular fire. Let's try. Can't light it with that. I just don't have the range. So let's try a combination. Of course, it tells me the combination right here, so I don't have to spend too much time trying to figure it out. But I'm going to go ahead and conjure up a earth and a fire. Ah, interesting. I'm going to go ahead, right click, get full power, and release. Boom, baby. Nice. And I'm stuck. And I am stuck. There we go. Okay, I'm not so stuck. So, that's the fireball spell. Very handy in a crowd, I am sure. And now I've unlocked the lightning. Lightning element. Type is lightning. Property is lightning damage. Jumps from target to target. That ought to be fun. Opposites are earth and water, so you've got to be doubly careful. Alright, we have a generator here. I need to spark it up. Give it some life. And how do we do that? Well, I'm going to load up a lightning element with my A key. Point and shoot. Zap. Again, that's right mouse button. Here we go. Let's move on. Checkpoint. Oh. 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 I'm wet. This is water, and now look at me. I'm soaked. Water made my robes all wet. And as you know, electricity and water do not combine very well. So I need to dry myself. And in order to do that, I can conjure up some fire, cast it on myself, and now I'm dry. Awesome. All right, so now we've got to spark up two generators. And it says down here, let's use, use an area spell. Let's save time and energy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me show you how to do an area spell. I'll load up lightning. Hold down shift and click, right click, and as you can see, sparks fly out all around me. That's an area of effect, and I'm going to go ahead and light these guys up. Hold down shift, zap, ready to roll. Uh, arcane unlock, it's a beam type. Arcane damage, it's explosive and it heals undead. Opposite is life. All right, so here we're going to use our arcane power. I need to spark that guy up, but I can't reach it with a regular lightning charge. So what happens if I add a little arcane, which is S on my keyboard? Ah, adds much range. Seems to amplify. Awesome. Okay, moving on. Now we've got cold. Cold is a spray type. It slows, it freezes water, and the opposite is fire. Now, I can't get across here. It's flooded with wine. I can drink for a while, but I don't really drink that much. So let's hit R. And let's spray. Create ice. Oh, crud. Oh, I'm stuck. Go, go, go. Oh, I made it. Good. Okay. So you can freeze with the ice. Let's see what happens if I melt that again. This is a great way to cover your tracks. Can't be chased. Cool. Okay, now water. Water is spray type. Property soaks, douses flames, opposite lightning. Obviously.
seriously. All right, looks like I'm wet here, so maybe I gotta douse myself. Of course, if I was dry and tried that, I'd probably burn myself. So uh, yeah, make sure you're wet before you cast flames on yourself. All right, so it looks like we can douse it with some water. There we go. Cool. Get my Q key. Load up a water element. Left click. Fire away. Okay, now things get interesting. Checkpoint. Ah, what's this? A masher. That's a great thing to have in your wizard tower. Um, and here we have a book, so I'm going to left click on this. I've learned haste. So now in this game, in Magicka, there are tomes of knowledge, tombs of magic. And when you find them in the game, you actually, it'll give you a, a recipe for a specialized spell. Um, more powerful than your typical spells, apparently. And you can use your scroll wheel, mouse wheel, to scroll through all the magics that you've discovered. So far I only have one. And I'm going to cast a haste spell to get through here. And this shows you the recipe, so there's no guesswork. So I'm going to load up lightning, arcane, and fire. Now here's the thing. To cast a spell, you don't hit your right mouse button like you would normally using your attack spells. For special Tome of Magic spells, you have to hit the space bar. Um, oh, okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, you know, when, when you hear the starting gun, that's when to run. Fortunately, I don't have to go back that far. All right, let's grab the book. <laughs> Well, I wanted to demonstrate death and checkpoint, so that's my excuse. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right, let's reload this up. Okay, and I'm going to get a little closer this time. Notice how slow I'm going now. Cast a spell and book it, baby. Nice. Okay, combat. All right, so here I am. These are imps. They are cowards. All right, when my spell bar is empty, this is something new. My spell bar is empty. Let me remove the haste there. If I right-click, this is a force spell out in front of me. If I hold down, it's a force push, so it knocks people back. If I hold down shift and do that, I get a area of effect knockback. If I hold the mouse button down, I can supercharge it. Sweet. All right, now let's see what we can do to these guys. Hey. Knock him back, zap him again. Let's try F and D. This is a fireball, right? Hold on, well, you don't get too close there, buddy. So you just kind of play around with some things. I think that's a good one. Oh, oh, what was that? I didn't even pay attention, that was cool. Oh yeah. All right, let's get a little closer here. Let's try this. How about a sword? All right, let's try that. Oh, that is nice. That's arcane and a rock. That thing just wailed. 538. One shot. Very cool. All right, moving on. Okay, click on the little lever. And, okay, here comes the big fight with the boss man. Ah, beholder. Behold the beholder. Okay, I learned a new spell here. Ah, shield, type shield, protective barrier, opposites, shield. So that must mean if two shields meet, there's going to be trouble. Okay, well, let's get the shield going here. Press A, right click. Now, this can be boosted with tapping your spacebar. So I'm tapping my spacebar right now. I'm boosting up my shield. It shows you the strength here. Go, 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 go. All the way up. I'm going to get this guy up to 100%. Hide behind here. And now I'm going to load some stuff up. I'm going to try that arcane and earth on this guy. See how that works. Okay. It didn't seem to do so well. Ah, it's not too shabby. Throw myself up. Let's try fireball. Oh, you know what? Cold. Let's try cold. freeze you. Alright, now how about a rock? What a big rock. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
knock him back. Oh, you know what? Okay, I read about this one. You freeze him, then hit him with a rock. Now. Alright, let's go back here and heal up. Oh! Oops, that's not supposed to happen. Boost it up, boost it up, boost it up. So you can see the um, potential here for multiplayer co-op. Just be fabulous. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to do a video on that next, hopefully. Right, I'm going to boost this. Oh, I can't boost that one. All right, let's try fire. That one burns okay, but I think freeze is probably my best bet here. I'm going to do three rocks. Boost this sucker up. Watch this. Oh, baby, that was nice. Three rocks did the trick. Sweet. Moving on. And there you have it. That is the tutorial. Wow. And now at the exit. Near Rappa. You think Titter near Fritzel. Uh, and here comes uh, that. Visa uh, Titter. Duncan Dunka. Gigi's and Emisa. Party guys. Anywho. Some Anywho. Some prop fell night. There were new bra on the Tanido. I. I. No, I didn't see him. Ah, learn revive. There were super best in the new. In a we have Archidance. Archidance. <laughs> Good word, Archidance. So now I have a new tome magic, which is Revive. Excellent. Well, and I'm going to end this here. That is the basic tutorial. Once I leave this building, I head out into the world, and the game begins in earnest. So as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of magic in this game. Um, some parody, too. There's going to be a lot of, uh, from what I understand, there's a lot of comedy. And uh, tongue-in-cheek, it doesn't really take itself too seriously. The combinations really um, are going to be part of the fun is just discovering what the combinations do. And very much like Ghostbusters, you know, you don't want to cross the streams because that can cause all kinds of havoc. So I think uh, multiplayer is just going to be a laugh riot. And I will do a, um, a look at co-op um, very soon. Um, I've got somebody in line and we're going to put together a little group and we'll record it and I'll post it up and you guys get to check that out. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is uh, Magica by Paradox Interactive and uh, you can get this. Uh, it's only 10 bucks. I got it on Steam. Um, and Gamersgate as well. Go to gamersgate.com and uh, $9.99 and immediate download. Very, very cool. Well worth the 10 bucks so far. Alright guys, take care. See you next time.